Hey everyone, Professor Popcorn here, and can you believe Bridgerton is back? Season 3, Part 1 has landed, and we're ready to spill some English tea on all the drama, romance, and of course, the secrets simmering beneath the surface. So, grab your feather fans and settle in, because things are about to get steamy and maybe a little scandalous in the ton. This season throws a delicious curveball. We bypass Benedict's story for now, although we do see his new love interest arriving in the world of Bridgerton. However, the spotlight is on Penelope Featherington, our resident wallflower with a shocking secret identity. Remember Lady Whistledown, the anonymous gossip queen who has the town buzzing? Yep, that's Penelope. Penelope Featherington's wardrobe undergoes a dramatic transformation in Bridgerton Season 3, Part 1, reflecting her emotional journey and newfound sense of agency. Signature sunshine yellows, vibrant oranges, and playful pinks dominated Penelope's wardrobe in previous seasons. These colors, while youthful and optimistic, also conveyed a certain childishness that Penelope is now eager to shed. Following her initial transformation, Penelope embraces a range of blues and seafoam greens. These lighter shades hint at her blossoming hope for a romantic future with Colin, while still retaining a connection to her family's signature style. It's important to note that Penelope doesn't completely abandon all traces of her former style. She incorporates brighter colors in accessories or accents, adding a touch of her playful personality. However, the overall impression is one of sophistication and intentionality. Colin Bridgerton, on the other hand, has returned from his travels a changed man. Gone is the awkward boy. In his place stands a confident, tan gentleman who seems to have captivated the attention of every eligible lady in London. But for Penelope, his arrival only intensifies her long-held feelings. The problem? Colin seems completely oblivious, still seeing her only as a childhood friend. A fascinating new element introduced for Colin is his habit of journaling. These private entries offer a glimpse into his inner thoughts and emotional state. The act of journaling itself signifies a change in Colin. It suggests a newfound desire for self-discovery and a willingness to explore his feelings more deeply. While Colin remains frustratingly oblivious when it comes to Penelope's feelings towards him, a new character enters the scene, Lord Debling. This charming acquaintance sparks a connection with Penelope, offering her a glimpse of something different. Here's where the debate begins. Team Colin or Team New Suitor? Colin's return ignites a fire within Penelope. Their interactions are filled with a delicious tension, but it's a slow burn that leaves us yearning for more. Colin's obliviousness can be infuriating, yet there's an undeniable chemistry between them. Will Colin finally see Penelope for the incredible woman she is, or will their connection remain unfulfilled? Lord Debling presents a welcome contrast to Colin. He's attentive, respectful, and seems genuinely interested in getting to know Penelope. Their conversations are filled with wit and a sense of intellectual connection. However, one can't help but wonder if this is a genuine spark or simply a distraction from Penelope's true desires. Bridgerton wouldn't be Bridgerton without its sprawling cast of characters. We get a glimpse into newlyweds Anthony and Kate's married life. Their playful banter has softened into a comfortable companionship. There were lesser scenes of the new married couple, so hopefully we will see more of these two in the next part of season three. Francesca Bridgerton finally makes her debut in London society. We see her navigate the complex world of courtship whilst falling for Lord Kilmartin. Francesca is immensely talented and finds beauty in either music or comfortable silence. We also see how Violet slowly lets her guard down and enjoys the flirtatious banter with Marcus, who is her dear friend, Lady Danbury's brother. We also get to see that even though the friendship between Penelope and Eloise has tainted since Eloise found out that her dear friend is in fact Lady Whistletown, it seems that the care between them has not completely faded away. 
one can tell they still miss each other's company, especially Penelope. However, Eloise has found a new friend in Miss Cowper. Miss Cowper is also pressurized in finding a suitable partner for herself this season, so she finds herself competing for Lord Debling's attention along with Penelope. While the romance between Penelope and Colin takes center stage, this season is about more than just love stories. We see characters like Anthony grappling with the responsibilities of Viscountcy and Kate adjusting to her new role as a wife. So what were your thoughts on season three, part one? Did you like the chemistry between Colin and Penelope and wish they had more scenes together? Comment down below your thoughts on part one and don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future.